congratulations for signing up for this amazing course where I'm going to help you change the story that you have going on inside your head about money. I want you to succeed. I want you to make a six figure income, seven figure income, eight figure income, whatever it is that you want. But before I tell you my story, I want to tell you that the entire course is based on 80% mindset and 20% on doing, because let's face it, there are truckloads of how to make more money courses on the internet. We don't need one more. That's not how you are going to make more money. It's not about giving you a magic pill or a magic course. It is about helping you rewire your mind because the reason that you don't have money or the reason that money seems to come to you and disappear through the back door is not because of something that you do. It's because of the mindset. And yes, we're going to talk even a little bit about the law of attraction. Don't worry. I'm going to keep it very grounded and very practical. We do, however, have to touch on to the energy of money because money is very powerful. You can love it. You can hate it. You can be neutral towards it. And yet it is one of the most powerful energetic oceans that we all tap into every single day. No matter where you live, even if you're homeless, you are still going to be exposed to this thing called money. You have clothes on your back. You have to have water or tea or some food. All of that revolves around the exchange of money. This is a world that we have created. And you can believe all of the conspiracy theories out there, whether they're true or not, is not the point. The point is that this is a system that we have created and we're participating in it. We have to participate in it. So I want to tell you one thing first. It doesn't matter if you want a lot of money or if you just want enough. If you've been living from paycheck to paycheck for a very long time, and if you have a lot of debt, then all you want right now is to get out of this debt because it feels like pressure. And I want to tell you why it feels like pressure. I want to go into the metaphysics a little bit of money because this is going to explain so much to you. For example, the word mortuary contains the word morte, mort, M-O-R-T, which is death. That's why the mortuary carries with it the word death. Well, the same word can be found again in the word mortgage, M-O-R-T, G-A-G-E, mortgage. You are engaging in mort. You are actually participating in death when you have a mortgage. We're talking energy here. And that is why when you have a mortgage, you also have debt. Debt contains the energy of death. They're one and the same. So when you have a mortgage that you can't pay for, well, first of all, you have by free will walked into a contract with a bank in order to create this mortgage, making you believe, especially if you live in the United States, that having the white picket fence and the two and a half children and the two and a half dogs and the husband or the wife and a house, that is the American dream. But it really isn't because what, because what you're doing is you're walking into that mortuary where you're going to experience death, financial death. And you feel this energy. So the first thing that I want you to know is that if you have a mortgage, don't worry, you're not going to die. It has nothing to do with that. It has simply to do with being aware that our minds are being played with all the time. And the truth of all the substances and all the nouns and the words and the sentences and the stories that we're playing in our head always has a base and you can find the truth in anything in the base of the words that you're using in order to describe your situation. We have things like when it rains, it pours and will this never stop and uh, wow, bring it on. And when there is a, a bonus coming in, when money is coming in, the bill must be right behind it because that's usually what happens. Money comes in one way and it floats out the other way. There is never enough. 
So we have to just be aware that this is the energy that we're talking about. Okay. The second thing that I want you to really keep aware is that when you're talking about money, you are hearing a lot of people that say, well, money is just energy and it is neutral. It is what you give it that actually makes it so, that makes it so powerful. And I happen to disagree with this theory. And I want to share with you in the next video, because I'm so juiced up when I hear people say this, it's like, no, 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 that's not actually how it works. There is a lot of energy and money, and we have to know what that is. Once you know what it is, just like you know that mortuary and mortgage is the same, and debt and death is the same, once you're aware of it, now you can lift the energy of it and say, I refuse to go to mortuary because of a mortgage. I refuse to die because of debt. And then you break th free through that ceiling of this pressure that you're experiencing. And, and we're going to neutralize all of that energy a little bit later. So let's move into the next video where I want to give you another tip on how to reframe your mind.